It's toy time, it's toy time. It's toy time, it's toy time. Time Studio subscribers, all you YouTubers, all you social media platform viewers, all you toy freaks and geeks, toy addicts and fanatics, I'm Danny Martinez, thank you for tuning in, this is episode 65, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and in this episode, we're going to be unboxing, <laughs> well, you know, last episode we did Batman Who Laughs, and then... You know, it just got me feeling a certain way with DC Collectibles, DC Direct from the Source. And I decided, you know what, it's time to unbox another Batman collectible. So we're going to do a Batman Black and White. Now this is the second version of this figure, this statue. Uh, this is the classic cover Todd McFarlane did back in the day when he was working for DC before he did Spider-Man and change the game over at Amazing Spider-Man, and then change the game with Spider-Man in itself, and completely reinvigorated the whole, just the whole fandom of Spider-Man. You can see traces of Spawn in this cover. This is part of what would be Spawn with the cape. The cape is massive. Now this item I picked up at Chubsy Wubsy Toys and Collectibles in Little Falls. As it says on the box there, Batman 2.0, because this is the second edition. At that time that I, uh, originally the first wave was coming out, at that time, DC changed their corporate structure and they were changing distribution. So a lot of orders got lost and things got allocated and some things didn't get delivered at all. However, definitely was very happy when I found this there at Chubsy Wubsy Toys and Collectibles. Uh, they also, I also see them at the toy shows sometimes. Anytime I go to their shop, it's a good time. I always find something. They have tons of items in such a small space, but packed top to bottom with all types of goodies. So go check it out. All right, so as we can see here, same basic packaging, top line, Batman black and white, Batman 2.0, Todd McFarlane. Picture on the front, front angle, and then on the bottom stripe, you have DC Direct, direct from the source. Give it a spin. It's pretty sizable, the box, considering it's styrofoam inside. You got a little DC Direct foil thing there. Always with the random facts, but like numbered limited edition, no number. Different angle of the figure with a black background. Then as we get around to the back side there, we've got a brief summary right here up top, then another language. And then you have the Batman Armored version by Frank Miller and Batman version 3, I guess. Jim Lee, definitely recognize that one. Now, this is the 100th edition, so that's why it's a, it's a bit bigger and they went with the classic cover. As mentioned here, 100th statue in the collection. It's based on the artwork of Todd McFarlane. From Batman 423, very nice, very nice. And then as we keep going around, then we have another picture from a little farther back. And uh, again, random stat, no reason for it right there. 10.2 inches high, and then it says another language, and then it doesn't tell you the other dimensions. What's the point? It also mentions that it's based on a drawing by Todd McFarlane and sculpted by Jonathan Matthews. All right, the black strip goes around, the black strip on top and bottom go around the whole box. And as we finish off right to the back, 
back to the front. And we have the main the main uh, picture on the front there. Okay. Awesome. Now we'll take this, take this out over here, and we'll be right back with it. Now, as you can see, the styrofoam is pretty sizable. It's taped. I just got to figure out which side is top and which side is bottom. Should be labeled pretty clearly. Okay, it's not. So I'm going to take my X Acto knife. So as you can see, it's, it's actually quite massive. The base is already connected to the actual statue. So I'm going to just take it out and then we'll place it right on the revolving stand. All right, so after clearing out all of that extra little styrofoam tape and carefully making sure we removed everything, here we have the 100th edition of Batman Black and White, Todd McFarlane Batman, beautiful. Now, at the time, it was very much different from what the norm was. He liked to do things with the cape, and he exaggerated things that he thought was cool, even if the editors and other top brass at whichever publishing company it was, didn't like it, it didn't matter, he would still do it, and the fans loved it. You can see traces of Spawn again. I mean, this cape is massive. Most of it is the cape. I mean, the body is pretty much hidden mostly. You only see a bit of the torso and then, you know, the neck and head area, clearly. But the rest is completely shrouded by the cape. So... Even though it's lacking most of the body, which would be then considering if you had more of the body showing, it would require more detail and attention to detail. However, because of the cape, that is not necessary. But let's uh, let's take a spin. It's black and white, so it's you know basically black and white and grays, all different shades. But this cape. So many jagged points and like edges. It's you have to be very careful when you're placing this and when you're moving it. It's heavy. It's not too heavy, but it's solid. And when you're handling it, you must be careful. Wow, the cape from the back really is cool. The way it, it has movement, a lot of movement. Even though it's still, <laughs> you know. It's dead on with the image from the cover of Batman 423. Amazing. I love Todd McFarlane's artwork. I'm going to let it spin again. But for, the, for the most part, where the detail is, for the face and the chest area and the, the cow, yeah, all the detail was pulling off the cape the way it actually was, though. That's, that's where all the... <laughs> the really hard work was, I guess, as far as capturing the essence. Really cool. We're going to measure it up after we're done giving it a spin. See uh, what kind of dimensions this statue requires for space in a, in a shelf or detox. Uh, I'm going to be putting it in the black and white section that I have already working. Uh, I think it's going to be too big for the top shelf of that section, so it has to be on the bottom. I would have to maneuver things around. However, let's take a look. So I'm going to go right now from this angle right here. And we're looking at about 8 and 3 quarter, 9 inches wide. I go from this point to this point. Yeah, it's still the same thing. I should be more careful. Now, you're looking at eleven inches. Actually, no. You're looking at ten and a quarter inches. Ten and a quarter inches tall. See that? To the top point there and then as far as front to back 
looking at seven and a half inches not broad again worth mentioning great price it was at retail price chubsy wubsy you did it again great job thank you for uh it was like it was meant it was meant for me to find it there that's all i can say love when i get to visit your place however this is it this is this was pretty much one of the simplest unboxings we've done so far but not no accessories no pieces just one solid piece open and shut case yet another glorious addition to what will be the batman section and the black and white section in the dms gallery which i haven't touched in a while i've got to clean it dust it and reorganize it because this has got to be the centerpiece of that collection episode 65 in the books thank you chubsy wubsy again we'll be back soon to get more stuff we still have another item or two that we haven't opened yet that was from chubsy wubsy so that'll be a future episode don't forget to like share comment and subscribe we will see you next time same toy time same toy channel be safe everybody take care of yourselves take care of it peace